Welcome everybody to this online 11th step meditation meeting. This meeting convenes here every Tuesday at 6 p.m. via Zoom, 6 p.m. Eastern time, I should say. I'm a recovered alcoholic. My name is David, and it's wonderful to be here with you all. Um, you may have noticed to help create a meditative setting, I muted uh, all participants. And to begin the meeting, um, I'm going to read the AA preamble. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organization or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. This is an open meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous and everyone is welcome. To help establish an open mindset, I invite everyone to join me in reciting the set-aside prayer, which you will see momentarily on your screen. Set-aside prayer. Dear God, please set aside anything I think I know about myself, my disease, the program, the fellowship, and all spiritual terms, terms. Especially, especially about God. you, dear God, so that I, so that I may have an open mind and a new and experience, and a new experience with all, all these things. things. Please help me, Please see, help the me see the truth. Amen. Amen. It is said the world improves with every new person meditating to improve his or her conscious contact with God. At this meeting, we will practice the 11th step as suggested by the AA literature. For instance, the 12 and 12 tells us that there is a direct linkage between self-examination, prayer, and meditation, and that this linkage provides an unshakable foundation for life. We come together this evening for all three. Tonight, we will pray the 11th step prayer, do our evening meditation, do our evening inventory, and finally, pray several prayers from our literature all with the intent of improving our conscious contact with the God of our understanding. The big book reminds us that the realm of spirit is broad, roomy, all-inclusive. Keeping that in mind, tonight's meditation is simply one type of many. And like most, this type will become more effective with time and practice. Tonight's meditation is partly guided and partly silent. The silence helps to create a peaceful setting in which you may come into closer conscious contact with the God of your understanding. My guidance that contact and help you find that quiet place within. Allow yourself to surrender for the next few minutes and discover that deeper space. Your willingness to do this helps you open to God 
and allows this to become God's time with you. In a moment, we will pray the St. Francis prayer together. Before praying, think honestly of what it is you are about to pray. It is one thing to read or recite the St. Francis prayer and feel its beauty, but quite another to put its suggested actions to work in your daily life. You may consider using one of the objectives in this prayer in your meditation. It helps to envision a spiritual objective before moving toward it. Let us slowly pray. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith. That where there is despair, I may bring hope. That where there are shadows, I may bring light. That where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving that one is forgiven, and it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen. I invite you to close your eyes and get comfortable. Retain the feeling evoked by our prayer and take it with you as we begin to move into that deeper space of conscious contact within. Take a few deep breaths. Loosen any tension in your body as you begin to let the day go. It is okay to sit in any position that helps you with your meditation. And if you should feel discomfort, please feel free to correct your body's position. Do not worry about distractions. Simply incorporate any sounds you hear, such as pets, passers-by, traffic, and internal noise into your meditation. These noises need not be disturbing. Just let these sounds flow in and flow out of your mind. To assist you in this, it is often helpful to follow your breathing. If you need additional help with this, you may want to think God, or love, with each in-breath, and think God, or love, with each out-breath. But there is no need to alter your breathing in any way. Just breathe as you normally would, letting the breath move in and out as naturally as possible. Anytime you sense a distraction, whether in the world or in your mind, simply follow your breath. Over time, this can help you still your mind. If you find yourself caught up in thinking, be gentle with yourself and simply bring your focus But don't be tricked by your mind. 
if it tells you you're not having a good meditation. There's no such thing as a bad meditation. The third step reminds us that all we need is willingness to know God, and the door will open. Let us now do a constructive review of our day. Answer the following questions from your heart and not your head. Let the words resonate deep within you. Should you find something that needs addressing, be careful not to drift into worry, remorse, or morbid self-reflection. Instead, simply ask God what corrective measures you should take and trust that he will lead you on the path toward corrective action. Ask yourself, do I owe anyone an apology? Was I resentful, selfish, dishonest, or afraid? Have I kept something to myself that I should have discussed with my sponsor or someone else at once? Have I been loving and tolerant toward all? Was I thinking of what I could do for others? Or was I thinking of myself most of the time? What could I have done better? If you found something that needs addressing, take a moment and ask God to show you direction and then let it all go for now. If you are willing to let the day go, let it go right now. Remember, surrender is the key to having conscious contact. Now, let's get physically relaxed. You needn't worry about the time as I will bring you back. Simply focus on your breathing and listen to the sound of your breath. Allow your body to sink deeper into your chair as you move down into a more peaceful place. If thoughts or images come to mind, you don't need to analyze or judge them. Just simply return the focus to your breathing remembering to be gentle with yourself. Once we have created a more relaxed state, we will sit quietly for about 10 minutes. During this time, you will be completely available to your higher power and you will begin to experience the healing power of silence. We will now begin to relax our bodies. Start 
by releasing any tension you may feel in your scalp. Relax the muscles at the top of your head and imagine melting away and moving down toward your ears. Let the furrows in your brow go. Imagine the tension holding them in place releases and simply streams down your face. Relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Consciously soften the muscles around your eyes as you relax more and more deeply. Relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Let go of any tightness in your jaw, mouth, and throat. Relax, breathing in and breathing out. moving more and more deeply into a meditative space. Focus on loosening up your neck, especially the area around the base of your skull. Let the stress and strain stream down your body. Relax. Breathing in and breathing out. As you sink deeper, you may begin to feel a secure and protective warmth. Allow that feeling to surround you. Relax, breathing in and breathing out. Continuing to focus on your breath. Release any stiffness in your shoulders and upper back. Relax, breathing in and breathing out. Release any tightness in your upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Let all these tensions flow downward, envisioning them as they flow out your fingertips. Allow everything to slow down as you notice how your body is beginning to unwind from stress, tension, and anxiety.
relax. Breathe in and breathing out. Allow any constriction in your chest and back, down your body. Let it go as you open more and more deeply to the feeling of surrender. Relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Continue to focus on your breathing. Allow any tightness in your waist, hips, and belly to move down your legs. Relax, breathing in and breathing out. Allow any tension in your thighs, knees, shins, and lower legs to run downward flowing effortlessly to leave your body. Notice how you now feel more calm and relaxed. Relax. Breathing in. and breathing out. Moving deeper into the breathing and the silence. Notice how much easier it now feels to surrender yourself completely to God. Relax, breathing in and breathing out. As you float in this space of tranquility, you may experience a deep feeling of serenity. This is where we will stay for the next few minutes. When the time of silence has passed, I will gently come back into your consciousness and guide you back. From this space of conscious contact, you may sense only silence, stillness, and love. Letting go and drifting deeper, 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 and deeper.
It has been peaceful here. This time of tranquility has helped you to feel the peace of conscious contact with God. Hold on to this peace as you bring your attention into your heart. Think about any resentments and regrets that you may have that have recently crossed your mind. It takes a great deal of energy to hold on to resentments and regrets. From your current place of serenity, you can hold on to them or you can choose the 12 steps as your path of forgiveness, love, and freedom. Through God's guidance, this path will guide you towards release and toward a place of no longer feeling victimized by your own feelings and emotions. Now experience gratitude in your heart by considering all the things in your life for which you are grateful. Think about the people you have loved and the people who have loved you. Take some time now to appreciate the gifts in your life for which you are thankful. We will now start the journey back to a place of higher awareness. We will do this slowly. Once we've returned, you may find it easier to retain these feelings of peace and serenity. Coming up slowly now, feeling refreshed. Gently, slowly, moving upward, feeling the peace and serenity flowing through your body. Continue moving upward, feeling calm. Feeling serene and happy. Bringing your focus back into the room. What you are feeling now is the direct result of your conscious contact with a God of your own understanding. With practice, this feeling can be with you much more often. Now that you're back, you may find that much of the stress has left your mind and the tension has left your body. You may even feel as if life has taken on a stronger meaning. You may also start to see that negativity, tension, worry, and anxiety are choices. This conscious contact can help you choose otherwise.
the meditation period is concluded. Now take a moment to pray and ask to be shown all through the day what the next step should be and that you be given whatever you need to take care of your problems. You may also ask your higher power to be free of self-will. We will soon move into a time of sharing. But first, we will read the third step prayer, the seventh step prayer, and the serenity prayer. Read along as you see them on your screen. Third step prayer. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help of thy power of and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Seventh step prayer. My creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Grant me strength as I go out from here to do your bidding. Amen. Serenity Prayer God, Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking, as he did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever and ever in the next. Amen. Thank you all.